Hello, so today I wanted to talk about sports performance and recovery and the importance of recovery in your ability to sustain high performance. So when we look at kind of the whole scope of being a high performing athlete, obviously a lot of people understand the concept of being able to physically train at a high level, needing to do both physical conditioning as well as training of their kind of technical and tactical skill sets. And then there's also things like nutrition. And then we're also looking at obviously mental performance that people understand in some of those skill sets are, you know, visualization, self-talk, goal setting, to name a few. But one of those components that people don't think about for the mental side of performance is recovery. And recovery is so important. I think people understand the concept a little bit obviously behind the physical side to needing to recover, but there's also that mental side in order to really be able to come back and really attack um, the work that you're gonna do with a high level of focus, with a high level of commitment, a high level of dedication. And I think a lot of athletes, and I've been there myself, where you're, you get into that mindset of I'm taking some time off somebody else is doing something and working harder and getting ahead of me which can kind of keep us into this cycle of doing more and more and more without really taking that rest that we need that break that we need that recovery time that we need so that we can really fully come back at it with everything that we have and that's a big big sorry key component is giving a hundred percent effort but you can only give a hundred percent effort of what you have to give and if you've kind of drained the battery because you haven't really recovered then it's going to change a lot of the things and i'm going to give you for an example here so i work with a lot of golfers and a lot of the golfers that i work with they are at the golf course every single day and i've worked with a lot of them when they've gotten to that point where they're just they're tired and it's harder for them to perform at the level that they're wanting to. It's sometimes they have a little bit more of that mindset of, oh, I got to go to the course again today and practice. And we started to talk a little bit, and I've done this with a few of my golfers around, you know, taking a day off a week and some weeks, maybe they just can't, but taking a day off a week. And then, you know, a couple times a year, maybe a few times a year, like taking a very designated week off to really get um, some space, remove themselves from the game. And the thing that these guys are starting to find when they're now taking some time off, being actually purposeful with time off and their recovery, mental recovery in this instance, obviously also physically, is that they are more engaged when they do go to the golf course. They're more committed. They have more of that mindset of I get to go to the golf course today to practice than I have to go to the golf course course today to have to practice and that's a huge shift in mentality because that ability to go with that notion of I get to go to the golf course means they're probably going to go and they're going to have a little more fun they're going to be more dedicated more focused really have a high productive time at the course with all their practice that they're doing rather than kind of just being there going through the motions And so that's really, really important. It's to really make sure that you do take some time away, not just for the physical benefits of that recovery, but also for the mental benefits to really be able to take your mind off of your sport, all the things associated with it, so that your mind can recharge, so that you can come back at it and really put everything you need to, to be the best athlete that you can be.